Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Let's go to the book of John, chapter number 11, and we're going to read a lot of verses, okay? So um, it's verses 1 through 45, and so I'm just going to read. I'm not going to talk. I want to read. I'll talk at the end, okay? Uh, but uh, let's, let's get through this story because this is such a wonderful, powerful story. John 11, starting with verse 1, the Bible says, Now a certain man was sick named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. It was that Martha which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sisters, <clears throat> uh, therefore his sisters sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. When Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus, and when he had heard therefore that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. <laughs> well, okay, I, I won't talk. Let's keep going. Then after that saith he to his disciples, let us go into Judea again. His disciples say unto him, Master, the Jews of late sought to stone thee, and goest thou thither again? Jesus answered, are there not twelve hours in the day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not, because he seeth the light of this world, uh, the light of this world. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbleth, because there is no light in him. These things said he, and after that he saith unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may awake him out of sleep. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. Howbeit Jesus spake of his death. But they thought that he had spoken of taking of rest in sleep. Then said Jesus unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. <laughs> <It's> hilarious. Uh, <clears throat> and I am glad for your sakes that I was not there to the intent ye may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Then said Thomas, which is called Didymus, unto his fellow disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. Then when Jesus came, he found that he had lain in the grave four days already. Now Bethany was nigh unto Jerusalem, about fifteen furlongs off, and many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. Jesus saith unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection of the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection. Whew, that gives me goosebumps. And the life, he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? She saith unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should, which should come into the world. And when, she had said, and when she had so said, she went her way, and called Mary, her sister, secretly, saying, The Master is come, and calleth for thee. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly, and came unto him. Now Jesus was not yet come into the town, but was in that place where Martha met him. The Jews then, which were with her in the house, and comforted her, when they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying, She goeth into the grave to weep there. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was, and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, he groaned in the spirit, and was troubled, and said, Where have ye laid him? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Then said the Jews, Behold, how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died? Jesus therefore again, groaning in himself, cometh to the grave. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, saith unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh. For he hath been dead four days. Jesus saith unto her, Said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God? 
Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me, and I knew that thou hearest me always, but because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound with a napkin. Jesus saith unto him, Loose him, and they let him go. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did believed on him. That last verse right there, of course there's a lot, there's a whole sermon I can, I can talk about here from here, but I want to focus on that last verse. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did believed on him. That's it, that sums up the whole purpose of all of this. It is to bring glory to God, to the lost and dying world. To bring the gospel of salvation to the lost. And these Jews, being able to witness this incredible miracle where Jesus brings Lazarus back to life, the whole purpose was not so Jesus can, can gloat or can show off his power to these Jews, you know, and, and, and uh, just showcase what he's able to do. You know, hey, look what I can do. No, no, no. The whole thing was verse 45. That's the purpose right there. It was to show them the truth of Christ so that they may believe. Folks, that's what it's all about. Everything we do as believers is simply a means to an end to reach souls for Christ. All of this is temporary. That is forever. And so is that. So we must, we must, it is imperative for us as believers to get the gospel to the lost. That's why we have a job. That's why we have a family. Everything that we do here is a means to an end to reach souls for Christ. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.